Tonight, Coyne is asking the tough questions after a man crashed his car and vanished into the woods. Welcome, everyone, to Coyne 6 News at 5. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola, and we're pushing police for answers about what they could have done to stop this. We sent Chris Holmstrom to Troutdale to ask the tough questions today. Chris? Jeff and Kelly, I'm out here at the scene of the accident. Detectives and also search crews have been out here throughout the day trying to get new leads on what exactly happened and how this crash happened in the first place. For the first time, we're getting a look at Kyle Peterson's Jeep after he slammed into a guardrail. Inside, all right. You can see part of the front bumper ripped off and the turn signal light broken. It was just a loud bang looked up, uh, saw the car was in a, in a ditch off the road. Never had anything like that happen before. Curtis Walk was home Monday night and heard the crash. The crash happened directly behind his home. He says he saw the driver trying to get the Jeep out of the embankment, and that's when he got stuck on this log. And how many people did you see in the car at the time when it happened? Um, the, I saw two people. One uh, left back towards Troutdale. Uh, the other stayed by the car. Hawk did not get a good description of who this other person is, but he tells me it was a male. Authorities would not confirm this. But I did get a copy of the dispatch log that gives a timeline of what happened. Here's the breakdown. 8.15, a witness calls 911. 8.19, the first officer arrives to the scene, makes contact with Kyle. 8.24, Kyle starts walking into the woods. 8.25, just one minute after the officer reported Kyle walking into the woods, Verizon Wireless reported that his cell phone was shut off. And why didn't the officer go after Kyle if he saw him walking away? Well, at that time, it becomes an officer safety issue. Um, we don't know um, what his intentions are, um, and when you go into the woods where you can't see, it's very dark, um, it's a very cliffy area. Um, we're not going to just follow somebody into the dark without having some cover units there. And did the officer have reason to believe that Kyle was dangerous? And not at that time. But he says Kyle was cooperating with the officer. When Kyle got out of the car, um, he handed him his identification, his registration to the vehicle, so there were no signs that he was in serious distress. Since the accident, Multnomah County search and rescue crews, as well as the family, have been out here canvassing the area, trying to find any sign of Kyle. In the meantime, this family is hoping for answers. And the search in the Sandy River came up empty today, but authorities say if you see Kyle Peterson, to give them a call immediately. Reporting live in Troutdale, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Point Six News.